All right, guys, we're down here on the Tennessee River, and we're going to try a little winter fishing. Um, we haven't been in this particular area before, so what we're going to do is just generally go out on the, the main river channel and look for some deeper portions of the river, whether it be a channel bend or the, the river bend. The river bed actually touches close to uh, the bank somewhere. We're going to find somewhere where there's a deeper hole um, and, and give it a try. So hang tight. We're going to run out here and see what we can't locate. And I hope we can. I'm going to try to look for a big fish today. And we've stopped at this area that's close to the bank. The river channel swings real close to the bank right here. And we got 70 foot of water behind us. We're just going to have to search them out. In the wintertime like this, if you don't know exactly where you're going, you're in new water. You just got to do some things and try it first. This current sometimes can fool you. You know, you got the lake coming straight at you. You would think the current would come straight down the lake too. But the way that this point comes out, it's kicking this current around and it's actually making the current go at a diagonal direction. As you can see here, I tried to get on this waypoint. So when I threw my anchor out, I threw it apparently in the wrong spot because we've missed the waypoint. Um, but we're going to figure out how much we missed it by. But it's the way that the current is pushing my boat, uh, which I kind of misjudged. So if I really want to get on this waypoint, I'm going to have to put my anchor right up above it here as it comes down. But it's actually hitting it at, at an angle. If you can see the, uh, the way the water's running right now, it, it's like, say, hitting this point and being pushed around as it's coming at an angle. So uh, these fish finders, have measuring tools on them and we'll measure from one one spot to the next all right it says finish measuring we're uh, looks like we're just about 20 foot away from where we were when it was intended to be that way we need to get over that way ten, uh, 20 more foot but you know the fish are still just moving right in and out you can see them right now coming in the screen the fish are just we're in the general area uh, so, you know, the anchoring is important of how you get on it and the way the current is hitting. Um, but in this case here, it looks like that we've kind of hit the general area. And this is a big area, but the GPS can get it down to pretty close to where, uh, where it happened, where it's happening. But that's a pretty good tool too that just kind of shows you where you're at. You know, if you, if you anchor it up and you want to know how far back behind the brush pile is that you're throwing in, you can use that also. You know, if that brush pile was down in here, you'll know it's 84 foot away from you. Wherever you put the blue, that's 70 foot. Oh, let's see here. Let me go here. I'm going to finish measuring. All right, there's a green buoy right over there from where we're sitting. And we'll measure how far we are from that green buoy. Mm -hmm from where we are here. So what we're going to do is hit measure. We'll take this all the way over to the green buoy and it's 161 foot from where our boat is sitting to the green buoy. But like I say, it'll give you a good, good chance of uh, learning a little bit more about your water and how far away you need to anchor from um, your actual targets so that you can put your baits right there where they need to be. Well, them fish are still moving in and out around us, so we're gonna sit here for another another 30 minutes and see what's what's going on.